welcome, welcome to the Let's Talk Variety Show. Happy Wednesday to you. I am your host, Andy Asher, and we are about productivity, positivity, happiness, and inspiration. And I hope you enjoy it. If you do, I will give you three ways that you can help keep the Let's Talk Variety Show going, all right? Now, more on that in just a few minutes. But first, in case you've been under a rock these days, <laughs> you've been seeing and hearing and reading a lot about Arnold Schwarzenegger. Uh, who is on a media binge with two new shows on Netflix. One is an action film. It's called FUBAR. Now that stands for something, you know, I can't say, but the word starts with F. And he has a multi-part documentary about growing up in Austria. And he has a book coming out this fall. It's titled Be Useful, Seven Tools for Life. He said on Instagram, my dad always told me, be useful, Arnold. Look for that around Christmas time to come out. No matter what it takes, work your ass off. Do it. Do it now. And he is doing it now in a big way. I just keep asking myself, when I was a kid, you know, when I was watching Superman and Batman, could I have imagined 70 and 80 year olds as action heroes? You know, it's amazing. It's just great. More on Arnold and other action heroes in, in just a moment. But remember, I told you on Monday how his fame began as a bodybuilder, later becoming an unbeatable Mr. Universe with the help of protein drinks, to help build, build muscle, maybe other things too. But I got together with Mimi and she's been creating some delicious uh, protein shakes and smoothies without any any protein powders, all natural. Hi, Mimi. The next taste, please. You see the color, so good. Mm. Mm hmm. Perfect. Enjoy. Please make these. It's so good for you. <laughs> Her drinks taste so good, and they are healthy too. Back with Mimi very soon. And now let's jump into our newsstand segment. So I was talking about 70 and 80 year old action heroes. And I found these in the National Examiner. And I did a, a chat AI search too. And I'll talk to you about that in a little bit. But uh, first of all, the in, in the this magazine here, which I got over at Safeway by the checkout stand, they brought up a few uh, people that we know pretty well uh, who have been around a while. And uh, of course, Harrison Ford, uh, he's 80 years old. He lives uh, now in Wyoming. He says he doesn't have to live in Hollywood anymore, so he's not there. And then, of course, Pierce Bronson. Uh, he was in uh, 007. He's about 79. He was on a lot of shows. And then, I, as I said, I did a, a, a chatai.com search for some other uh, people that might sound familiar to you. And this is what they came up with. You know, the interesting thing about chat AI is it's not always accurate. So as great as everybody is talking about, uh, you know, the AI and all of that sort of thing, uh, you got to watch it a little bit more closely because, for example, we know that, the, that Arnold Schwarzenegger, they say, was born in 1947. I thought it might have been 1946. But anyway, that puts him at, at 75. He's, no, I guess he's probably 47 he was born. But uh, he's going to be 76 in August. They talk about a lot of others, for example, Lee Nielsen, they have him born in 52, so that would put him about 69. So Gordon e. Weaver, uh, born in 49, so they put her at 72. I think that's a little closer to 74. Bruce Willis is a little bit uncertain, but they have him born in 54, which they say puts him at about 66. And uh, Sandra Bullock, for example, born in 64, that puts her at 57 Samuel L. Jackson, born December of 1948, so that makes him, uh, yeah, that makes him a right around 74. So that's pretty accurate. But anyway, uh, that gives you a little bit of a sense as to what these action heroes are doing in real life today, and they're still getting the crowds and getting us all excited. And I just think it's awesome. With that, let's check in with Mimi in the kitchen with her health and her muscle smoothies and shakes without any protein powder. Okay. Hello, hello again with another protein shake. Yes, and we love green, so green is so good for you. So we're gonna have 
this time a whole banana frozen okay one cup of baby spinach or kale i'm using spinach since i have organic spinach i bought like a big bag so i'm gonna be using it and then half an avocado all right avocado so good Love protein one tablespoon of flax seed and it's a uh, powder ground all right if you have some frozen berries you can add them uh, I did not have any so I'm just gonna use what I have here and then a cup of almond milk and of course you can use any milk you like so let's do it. Mm -hmm. Oh, so good for building your muscles and especially if you work out a lot. Voila. Mm, it sounds so good. Ah. There you go. Mm. So if you see that it's thick, you can always add a little um, milk. I like it that way. So it's like a meal you don't have, you know, you eat this and you drink this or you eat it or uh, <laughs> you're good for the whole day. It's delicious. So let's taste. You see the color, so good. Mm. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Enjoy. Please make these. It's so good for you. All right. The next time. Thank you so much, Mimi. And I want to thank you for supporting the show. If you liked it or you learned something new, I want to tell you three ways that you can support the show and keep the Let's Talk Variety show going on. Uh, the number one way is just to get yourself subscribed. Every show I am bringing on inspirational guests who uh, can teach or have something interesting to talk about and to share. So just take a moment to, to hit that subscribe button. And then the number two way, and this is really the ultimate way to support uh, the Let's Talk Variety show, and it takes less than a minute to do so. You can just write something, you know, write something short and sweet. Like I love the show, uh, it has changed your life, or something that you learned from it. I am not exaggerating at all that I read the reviews every single day and every single one of them, whether it's short or long, it means everything to me. The, the more reviews, of course, means the higher we rank in all those algorithms, and uh, which means, of course, that we can get some bigger guests. So just take a minute to, to leave a review. And then number three, that share the show with your friends. Just hit that share button. We live stream on Monday and on Wednesday and on Friday. And I am eternally grateful. Thank you so much for supporting the Let's Talk Variety Show, the show about productivity, positivity, happiness, and inspiration. <laughs>